Oh, there is a grill stuff here on the trail. So we are going to hike St. Mary Peak today. We have snow in the forecast next week for high elevations. And this hike will be inaccessible. It's been a few years since I've done this. Some sharp elevation. We started at about 7,500 feet. And we go up to about 9,100. So a lot of climbing today. We've got some smoke rolling in from the southeast. Coming up the Bitterroot Valley. But I'm hoping once we get to the top, we'll have clear skies to the west. Because that's where the beautiful scenery is. It's currently about 52 degrees. And at this elevation, especially once we get above the tree line, it could get a lot warmer or a lot cooler. Weather can be unpredictable at this altitude. The first few miles of this trail, it's nothing but switchbacks on the way up. And they're pretty steep. It's a consistent climb. And while this section is steep, it's nothing compared to the last climb to the top. So this is a heavily trafficked trail, mainly due to it having one of the few active fire towers left up at the top. Throughout the summers, it's manned almost exclusively by volunteers. Just hit one mile. So St. Mary Peak is in the Bitterroot Range. I believe it is the second tallest peak in the range, the first being Trapper Peak, just south of here. I love these mountains. I could be wrong, but I think the mileage from the bottom to the top is about three, three and a half miles. All right, it's gotten pretty warm. I think I'm gonna ditch this hoodie. Might as well get a little bit of water. Look at those trees behind me. So look at the way. This bark is twisted around this tree. I find those patterns very interesting. Makes you wonder what causes them to grow like that, or what causes them to die, considering they look like they're dead. So I was recently having a discussion about religion and spirituality, and how I feel that they are two separate entities. You can be religious in anything, but spirituality is having a connection to something bigger than yourself. For me, it's a constant pursuit of understanding my role in this life. That's why I hike. I come out here seeking God, and I find Him everywhere. And out here I feel small, vulnerable, and insignificant. And in an odd way, that's a very comforting feeling. I constantly want to be in control of my life, but I feel the most free when I relinquish that control. We just hit two miles. Oh, I see some larch changing over there. Those yellow trees on the horizon on that hillside. The wind's getting stronger, and we're pushing through the final stretch of tree cover. Man, that wind is really coming through. It's interesting. It goes from being very loud and windy to dead quiet. We have reached the Selway Bitterroot Wilderness. Yeah, that haze you see there in the distance, that's all smoke. The 
trees get very interesting up here this high elevation we are at 8,348 feet but on the plus side if you look up here in front of me you'll see where we are going right up there that's the fire lookout as you can see there's still quite a bit of climbing to be had We just hit three miles. You know, I just remembered I brought my sunglasses for this part of the trail. There, that's much better. You know, looking up there at that lookout makes it feel so close, but we still have a ways to go. I think it might be four miles. We are officially above the tree line. Even with the smoke, that is a beautiful view. Almost lost my hat. All right, we have reached the steepest part, going up this last little bit. Lots of switchbacks in this last stretch. I'm not gonna lie. This last stretch is a doozy, and we just hit four miles. Whew. You check out that view over there. So here we are at the fire tower. I'm on the side blocking the wind because I forgot my wind sleeve for the GoPro, so hopefully the audio is good. But we made it up to the top.
tell you, this place has beautiful views. We are at 9,323 feet. All right, it's time to head back down. All right, well, that's going to do it for this hike to St. Mary Peak in the Bitterroot Mountains. If you enjoyed this video and you found value in the content, consider liking. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.